Um, I don't really have a bid here. All right. Five of diamonds. King nine eight. That's annoying. Nine eight is pretty imposing. So we're not setting up any fast uh, diamond winners here. Hmm. I'll let Dan hold the trick. I don't know what to do. If if declare weren't marked with club length, and by club length I mean like three or four. I would probably win and play a club. If I had like ace ten nine eight of spades, I would win and play ten of spades, but I don't have any of those cards. Um West has like three clubs or some number of clubs, three or four clubs. He probably has three diamonds. And he doesn't have four spades. He's playing on hearts. That's pretty interesting. Why would he play on hearts? Why would he play on hearts? Does that mean he has four hearts? But I mean, it's not really going to set up tricks, is it? What, what heart holding could he have? I don't know. Interesting. I don't know. I'll sit here and wait for the continuation. <laughs> I I don't know what's happening yet. Should I put the ace of diamonds? Okay. Um, wow, really bad suit. So we have a. Uh, wait. Five then four. Kind of think he only has uh, he only has five diamonds, which means the is three, which means he's going to take four diamond tricks. It's pretty great. Ooh, this is not going well for us. Seven, eight tricks. Declare is eight tricks already. Did he play a heart just to throw smoke into our eyes? It's pretty funny. Is Gib capable of doing that? Um, should I cover? No. Why did he do that? Why didn't he just cash Diamond King? Okay, now he cashed it. Yeah, wow. It's interesting. Play the heart just like nothing. Hmm. Um, <laughs> double or one no trump? That's always the question. So we play precision. So partner could open. Partner opens most eleven point hands. That said, we have seventeen. I'll just double, I don't know. Ace third of diamonds isn't like the greatest stopper ever. I mean it's it's like a stopper that doesn't mind playing in, in a suit, so let me just try doubling. If he jumps, I'll cubit three diamonds. Okay, he did jump, so I'll cubit three diamonds. Um I think this should be searching for the best game. If I had primary heart support, I would just raise. Or or cubit and raise later, so I think we're just searching for the best game. So I, I think he should assume that I don't have four hearts until I pull later or something like that. Okay. So that's not encouraging. 
Right. I mean, the floor is like 8, and I have 17. And... Ah, what if he only has 4 hearts? That would be really bad. Can we really stop on a dime here? I don't know if we're in force. Can he make it? Can he make like some sort of constructive bid, and then I can cube it, and we can quit in three hearts? I don't know. Well, it really sounds like three no's unplayable, so I don't know. All right. So what's happening in this contract? We have five heart tricks. Spade is six. Diamond ace is seven. Club ace is eight. It's kind of our losers, I guess. Uh, we're gonna lose a diamond and spade, and we have to not lose two clubs. All right. So five hearts. A spade is six. The diamond ace is seven. That's eight. And then, like finesse against the jack of clubs, nine ten. He opens, so we have a, maybe have a read on the high cards. King, Queen of Diamonds. So there are two main options, I think. In the, well, there are, there are like a million ways to play the club suit. That's pretty. That's pretty rough. He pitched the club. Okay. I was gonna say you could play like low toward the seven and then low toward the eight, finessing him for either the king or the jack. You could play ace and then toward dummy. And if he doesn't put up a king, <laughs> if he doesn't put up the king, you could play queen and hope to three two. You could play ace of clubs, nine of clubs, when asking him for the jack, or the, I mean both the king jack. I don't know what's best. I and mean, there's actually, if there were no auction, if they were just silent, I think low to the seven, low to the eight would be best. But because he did open, do we have? Time to play some other, like screw around in some other suits. Okay, Dan's gonna play another suit first, I guess, to figure out what, try to figure out what's going on. I wasn't sure if we were gonna get tapped out. Okay, he's just playing clubs this way. All right, so now D Dan's gonna play. Uh, Dan's going to, oh, not have an entry to dummy. That's not good. So we just need the jack of clubs to fall doubleton now. Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> Oh, because he, he pitched the club. That's why Dan did that, right. I, I was so caught up in talking nonsense that it, he pitched the club and it's like, I, I would not know what to make of that. Pitched the club. I don't know. I hope my partner has a good hand. Actually, I don't really care. He's probably typing something. Um, I don't think it's time to do anything stupid. Certainly not on camera. Okay, Dan's saying there were only missing 15 missing high card points because we had 25 combined. And East opened, so maybe it was a favorite to play him for the uh, Club King. That makes sense. As usual, I was just spouting nonsense. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, deuce of spades, okay. Oh, okay, right. The ace was still in dummy. I was like, what a bad dummy. The ace was still there. 
He apparently doesn't need to rough anything in his hand. Because he, he's the shorthand, so gaining roughing in his hand would gain a trick. I don't know. <laughs> Duck back. Oh, I'm winning! Okay. If I won that, I was going to shift to the hard 10. And I'm scared that my club 6 signal was uh, encouraging clubs, and I don't really want a club shift. So that was probably my deck. But I wasn't sure I could afford to play a higher one. What is he doing in diamonds? Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> I still not winning and playing the heart 10 again. Hmm. King? Yeah. Losing? Uh, this one. I still need the heart. That is pretty interesting. I should probably just discard the club 9 if I'm going to discard a club. It was right not to discard a diamond, that uh, gives away a trick. Yeah, I should discard the club 9. That was pretty silly. I didn't want to discard either red suit, because when you hold 4 cards in the suit, you're you're the only person who, on the, at the table who can guard it if Declare also has 4. And in this case, red diamond was dangerous. I, I couldn't afford to part with the diamond. And by the same logic, I didn't want to uh, part with a heart. So I had to pitch a club, and I was, I was worried my jack 9 would be important, so I discarded the 6, but I didn't really think about it. Uh, I guess I should mention that, um, uh, hang on, oh, too bad. I guess I should mention that we play upside down uh, discards, so low is encouraging, so the 6 was my lowest spot, and from Dan's point of view, what does the 6 look like? The 6, he can see the 4, 2, and the 3, so the 6 looked pretty encouraging, so, I, I think I should just, just, just discard them, I'm pretty sure, okay, um, stuff happened, all right. Defending three spades. I'm on lead. Let's lead a singleton. My 2 no trump was just a uh, bid your better. Bid, bid the lowest suit you're willing to play. Because I had both minors, so I, I didn't want to... I'd try to get to the right minor contract, I guess. So, it sounds like Dan prefers diamonds and hearts. Because he bypassed three clubs. Ace, then jack. Dan almost certainly has a doubleton club. I don't think he has a void, just because frequency. So. If I play Ace of Diamonds, Diamonds of the King, and another heart, that would beat it, right? And I don't really care about the over tricks. The, the extra under tricks, I guess. Um, hmm. When can this go wrong? Maybe I should just go for the extra under trick. Maybe it's safe. So I play the seven of diamonds. If he wins the queen, he gives me another rough, and I play another low diamond. Okay, so let's just try this. Let's go for the maximum. Come on, queen. Ah, duck. That did not work. <laughs> that super didn't work. Dan has one spade. Is he four five three? 
king and queen. Ugh, I don't know. Okay, he he did have a void. Um, I'm gonna duck that. Okay. Don't panic and rise king here. <laughs> I guess on this hand you would actually have some slight justification. Alright, cool. Um, whatever. Oh, whatever. I mean, like, we already beat it and I, I don't care. Because, um, I mean, Rising King would be playing for Declare to be insane. Like, if you had Ace Queen Jack, uh, A, he would either try to finesse, or on this hand, since he can't reach Dummy, I swear, they're just gonna bang, lay down the Ace, because that's the legitimate play. Like, you could try to find a Singleton King, whereas playing small is just kind of insane. And, um, and, you're playing for your opponents to make a mistake, which, you know, can happen. You can swindle them, but sometimes you just lose to the Singleton King when you had a legitimate play. Sometimes they had they had the length and it's not getting roughed out. Or it's not falling, so, you know, whatever. Hmm. I am quite light. I will just pass. The other option is double. My partner bids two diamonds. I guess I have to bid two hearts, but I wasn't really pleased with that. Meanwhile, if I pass and partner doubles, I can bid two hearts and comp like pretty confidently. And if partner bids two diamonds without my double, then I won't have to wonder whether or not to pull. I can just pass because he freely bid it, which means he should have extra. Holy moly! Maybe I should have doubled. <laughs> Well, I stand by all my reasoning, at least. Ace of hearts. So, singleton or doubleton? Ace and deuce, so probably rise king now. If east found uh, the ace of hearts lead from ace queen deuce, I don't know, just whatever. I'm never gonna play for that. Oh, he's talk. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have asked him a question. King, 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 and then diamond finesse. All right. So, um, <laughs> okay, so Ace of Diamonds and a Diamond now. Are they both on side? Which would be bad for us. By both on side, I mean both the king and the jack. Yeah, so we're going to lose two diamonds. And we lost uh, the trick in the beginning. Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. Play, play a diamond now? I think Dan has to play a diamond now. It doesn't matter if the spade king is on side, but if it's not. Yeah, I think playing a diamond is just superior. Okay, yeah. Okay, Dan did it. Okay. Um If I don't know how much I want to go into. This. Okay, yeah, I guess I will. If Dan plays another so we we got this spade pitch right there. Okay, so uh, I guess I could try to blow this up. That's about as much as it gets blown up. So at this point, Dan cashed the heart. And if Dan plays another heart, West can now rough in when Dan is out of hearts. 
and then play whatever he wants. And the hard jack is lost because um, because we don't have a quick entry. I mean, I, like I said, if the spade king is on side, it doesn't matter. But why rely on the spade king on side when you could just play another diamond? Now West can't rough this heart, so we can cast the heart in peace and throw away the spade and not rely on the spade king on side, which it probably was on the bidding, but who cares? You know, this this is just better. Um, I have a pretty pretty bad hand, so I'm just gonna pass. Okay, Dan's doing a lot of playing. <coughs> Sorry. All right. Whoa, Dan has a good hand. That's a really good hand. All right. Um. First thought is that the Ten of Hearts is probably from Doubleton. So when it goes, uh. Okay, so when it goes like this, oh, I was gonna say you might want to duck it, because now if they come in, they can play Ace and Rough. Oh, I guess he always has a club Ace, so it doesn't matter. So we're gonna get a heart roughed on this, or or not. <laughs> so on this hand, this guy opened, and we have like 25 high card points. So he's probably got the club ace. But in a different world, um, if you duck the heart lead and then play the heart jack on the way back, if he comes in with a club ace, he has to guess what card to put his partner in with. Because he won't have a heart anymore, right? He wants to rough a heart, but he's got to get to his partner's ace. And he doesn't know which one that is. Is it a spade? Is it a diamond? You know. So if you duck the uh, first heart, you can cut communications. Of course, if you slide a singleton heart, you're a real idiot. So, But then uh, you don't know me, and I didn't tell you this play. So just to recap. So ten of hearts. So if you, if you duck that instead, and he leads a second heart, you put in the jack, small, small. You put in the jack, small, small. Now, if you play a club and he has the ace and like ace double ten of clubs, he has to guess which suit to get to his which ace his partner holds. And, I mean, it could be anything, right? So, oh, I guess the spade ace was in dummy, but whatever. The idea is fine. Just the idea. Okay. Um. That strong artificial enforcing doesn't sh doesn't promise anything about clubs. Um. Yeah. Okay. This shows any hand with eight to eleven points. This is this is a system we stole. That's very popular with. I mean, that's just very popular with the juniors these days. Okay, partner is clubs. I like clubs. Everything from now is natural. So he's got like sixteen or seventeen or more points, and I've got eight to eleven exactly. So I'm as good as I can possibly be. So unless partner does something really discouraging, I'm probably gonna push. I'm going to push a little more. Um, the auction is going to get murky because I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Intend this as a qubit. Shows a diamond ace or king. Probably not a singleton because I could have splintered with that hand. And this isn't even the kind of stuff I want to talk about, but what else am I going to do during the auction? I have two key cards. Okay, so that is about as discouraging as it can get. I mean, my first thought is that I, I cannot possibly be better, but... um. If he couldn't cubit hearts and he couldn't cubit spades? What kind of hand does he have? Queen jack of spades, queen of hearts, four, five. Ace, queen, jack of clubs, 12. King of diamonds, 15. Queen of diamonds, 17. Well, that's, that's possible. I guess so. Whoa. 
I guess he was just worried about hearts. I don't know. It's not like it's the greatest line ever, ever so... <laughs> so what happens on this lead? Three spade tricks. Five club tricks is eight. Diamond is nine. Spade rough is ten. So... We are just cold, right? Okay, when the spade queen shows up, everything's fine. We're just cold. We can discard. We can draw chomps, discard a losing heart on one of the spades, if the queen was like over here, for example, and it didn't show up. Play like uh, jack, draw chomps, ace-king, throwing a heart away, and then just play queen of diamonds. And if it's offside, it's offside. We'll lose a heart and a diamond. But when the queen appears like this, or when it's onside, I think if we're in six clubs, we probably need it onside, right? Or you could play for the hard ace, or a proper hard guess and the diamond king on side, but that's a lot more to ask for than just the spade king on side. Like, you could draw trumps, repeat the spade finesse, throw both hearts away, and then try to work on diamonds. Is that true? That's not really quite, that's not quite true. If we play a diamond losing, and if clubs are 3-1, they play a heart, they tap us, now we're stuck. Slam sucks! <laughs> Okay, clubs were 2-2, two, two, so I think Slam was going to make on this. Well, on this lead, it was going to make. But, um, yeah, that was a lot of blah 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 that I did. What happened? I wasn't even looking at the screen, which the camera makes clear. Oh, he took the diamond fest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's something I didn't consider because, well, he's, he's right. Uh, if you take the diamond finesse into west... Right, I was talking about six. If you take the diamond finesse in the west, you can't lead a heart through the king jack, so the, that was always correct. Um, wow, oh my god, this is 27 minutes. Alright, last hand. What? <laughs> do I need to move over to this? I need a lot from partner to make a slam, don't I? Alright. Four is in danger. That's great. Yeah, I mean, so it's, it's funny, but don't fall in love with your hand. I mean, bidding four spades over four hearts is something every bridge player wants to do, so you really have to cut your partner a lot of slack if you want him to continue bidding four spades over four hearts. This takes the pressure off me when I have like a minimal hand, so when you do have the maximum hand, cater to your partner having not a great hand. As it is, he has about the worst hand he could possibly have. Um, the thoughts I was... and this is the kind of stuff I'd prefer to talk about. The, um, the thoughts I was having before passing was... I mean, I was trying to come up with hands for partner that would make, uh, make slam good. Like singleton heart, diamond ace, and club king queen. I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot, but as you can see from partner's hand, you know, like he doesn't have any of that. So, yeah, I'm still not sure. I mean, we could also just be off two bullets, like two aces. That would just be the easiest way to go down. So, anyway, enough of that. Four spades isn't even safe. Let's talk about that. Okay, we we took care of trumps. That's good. Um. We need the diamond ace on side. So how do we make this hand? Diamond to the diamond toward the king. If east rises, east east should rise. Um, and plays another diamond. Then we play a small club toward the jack nine. Yeah, that's that's probably the best line. Okay. So if east doesn't rise, he'll he pre presents us with an end play, or opens himself up to an end play earlier than he wants to be end played. So now we have to get the clubs right. Um. We could play for split honor. So if Dan plays, oh, there are a lot of options here. You could play ace of clubs, then a club. If East has doubleton honor, I think they're dead. So that means East is going to win his doubleton honor, but then he has to give us the rough and slug. He could play eight of clubs, running it. If East um, wins, if if West has the ten, East can win an honor, and East has no choice but to return a club. 
Oh, that's not good enough. We need a the singleton ten, like the ten here, and both honors over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's better? Alternatively, you could play for both club honors over here, but I wouldn't play for that. Because if you play a low club and he splits from both honors, he plays like queen, you play small. If he plays a club, you now put in the jack. But I wouldn't play for that. That seems like a real long shot. So either ace in another or club eight, running it. Hoping he has the ten and he has king-queen. What's best? He had a spade void. Five hearts. And who knows what else. So if he had a double ten club, that means he had six diamonds. Which uh, he probably would not have passed four spades. So I guess I would play eight of clubs and run it. Yeah, that's what I would do. Even if what I said was totally wrong. Oh, okay, so Dan's going ace in a club. Which I don't think is right. And I think nothing would have been right. Yeah, n nothing would have worked. Oh well. Alright, that was a good hand anyway. Are they making it? We get a club, a diamond... Oh, we're probably going to get two clubs, a diamond. Yeah, they'd probably make it. It's pretty insane, isn't it? They have to guess trumps. Six. Okay, yeah, I'll stop here. This has been a long video.